Welcome back to Breakfast Television on City. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for turning us on. We're talking Data Privacy Day. It's this Sunday, a day dedicated to promoting awareness about privacy and data protection. University of Calgary professor Tom Keenan joining us now to talk about uh, some things that we may be doing wrong, putting our pri privacy and everything at risk. We should mention Tom's written a book called Techno Creep that is all about this. You're the guy we turn to yeah. when it comes to security and data privacy. How important is it to keep this stuff secure? It's tremendously important. People have found their bank accounts cleaned yeah. out, found their identity stolen. So the first thing to do is this Sunday or whenever we have Data Privacy Day, change all your passwords. Change them all. Or maybe use a password manager. I don't recommend particular ones because they can get hacked. Yeah. But if you can't remember all those passwords, maybe you want to use a program that generates strong passwords. Okay, okay, so change our passwords. Yeah. And, and you're saying that there's a type of password, um, you call them sister passwords yeah, that, so, are, that are no good? So people go out there and they go, okay, my favorite word is Apple. So yeah. I'm going to make my uh, Royal Bank account Apple123 Royal Bank. Okay. But now I'm going to make my Sears account, we don't need that anymore, 123 yeah. uh, uh, Sears. So using the same pattern, the hackers can figure that out now. One of the other big vulnerabilities, information we give up ourselves. Yeah. Okay, so we're out there, we're posting photos on Facebook that show where we live or maybe our car. Or when we're on vacation. Or we're, yeah, yeah. Well, that was my favorite, pleaserobme.com. Oh. People used to, they just collected, hey, go to Hawaii, uh, be there for See two weeks. Week. Aloha, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, that that's information you shouldn't give out. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, okay. Now, one thing uh, Tom wanted to show us is just how easy it can be for people to literally get into your house. Yep. So this is a, like a common Real door lock, but yeah. bought, bought at a hardware store. Okay. And the reality is I saw a video on YouTube. Yeah. And it was somebody followed someone actually into a store in the U.S. And after they typed in their PIN number, there was enough key left on the keys they used a thermal imaging camera took a picture and got the person's pin number okay so you know I'm an inquiring mind yeah. I go to a lab at the university get professor Tang Lee who has this kind of camera and we do the test and guess what after I typed really? in the pin number you could actually see where my fingers were no. Now, you know, when it I worked. when I tell the story in the U.S., people go, oh, yeah, right. Then they've got your PIN number and they'll steal your card out in the parking lot, right? They'll, they'll rob you. In Canada, we're nicer, so I have to give a Canadian example. You have a latchkey kid. She's forgetting her key. She comes home. She types in her number. The big bad predator comes up behind her, photographs it, and the bad guy's in your house. Oh, this scares me, Tom. So we're like doing something stuff. about this. What we're going to do is launch a new certificate at yeah. the university in designing smart and secure communities. Oh, really? You have to have a bachelor's degree to take it. We're taking applications now, and there's a website for it, ebds.ucalgary.ca forward slash certificates. It's going to teach people all about this stuff and how to be both safe and secure because the same stuff that makes you safe and makes you secure can also make you very smart. You could have this door lock connected to the Internet. Of so course. you forgot to lock your house, you do it from your mobile phone. But that also means the bad guys can of do course. it. Of course. They so can we're, hack it, right? We're looking at that balance between being smart and being secure. And my theory is that they're the same thing if you do it right. Okay, I have a final question for you, Tom. Like, when it comes to passwords, we yes. have so many logins. Um, and you're saying don't have sister passwords. Yes. Just change it slightly. How do you keep track of all You know, that? the answer for most people is a password manager. I okay. never name them because I know if I name it tomorrow, it will get hacked. And sure, people will sure. say, you idiot. However, <laughs> you can just type in password manager. Look for one that has millions of downloads. Okay. So it's not something that a hacker just created. Yeah. They're often free for like a low version and then a premium version. That will generate a strong password. And then every time you go into your site, you can retrieve it from there. Just don't forget your password for the password I manager. Know, then, you're <laughs> then you're in trouble. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tom. Tom Keenan, of course, a professor at the University of Calgary, written a book in 2014 called Techno Creep, still selling well. People want to know yeah. how to protect their data. And this Sunday, January 28th, is Data Privacy Day. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ted.